god, I literally just realized that I look like I am completely naked. And if you want to see how I achieve, no, I'm so bad at this. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, no. No. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a chit chat get ready with me video. What? A chit chat get ready with me on this look right here. It has just put me in all the summer feels ever. This whole like vibe I have going on here like with the hot pink and you know, the bronzy eyes. I feel like I should be like vacationing in Havana or something. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it's the hot pink, I don't know if it's the hair, I don't know if it's a combination, but I am just feeling sassy. And if you're interested in seeing this look and how I got it, then just continue watching. I know, it's a cute look. So I've already went in and uh, washed my face, prepped it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime really quickly. I'm gonna be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It looks like this right here. And I'm just gonna give a little, a little squirt squirt on my hands. I'm really going to need everyone to not pay attention to my nails and judge me. Like, I know the situation is not cute and it's so embarrassing, but I'm lazy. That's just the honest truth. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the face first. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the new NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I'm gonna be applying that with a damp beauty sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a few sprays of the MAC Fix Plus. And I'm gonna just take a couple pumps of this on the back of my hand. Typically, I would mix this in with the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick Foundation. Looks like this right here, the stick foundation, super popular. It's a good, amazing foundation. I'll typically go in with this first. I'll just put a couple stripes on my face. But today I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to just the NARS foundation. Go away, discoloration. Like honestly, what would we do without foundation? Like, that's a serious question. You can kind of still see like my skin, how it's still like trying to get better have this little dry patch on my neck right here that i'm always paranoid about because i'm like oh my god i don't want people to think it's a hickey on my neck Alrighty, so for concealer i'm going to be grabbing the tarte shape tape concealer right here and um i'm using the shade light neutral i don't have like a specific shade that i use um if i'm being honest i just kind of bounce around like i have a couple of my makeup bags like i'll bounce back between like a few different shades but for today i'm going to be using the light neutral get it in there I don't know if anybody has like noticed, like anyone who has used this concealer, but it kind of smells like bug repellent. <laughs> like off. That's the first thing I thought of when I smelled this concealer. Like it straight up smells like off mosquito repellent. Like I'm not even, like not citronella, because off does not have a citronella scent to it. It just has like I don't know, but I'm gonna try and look past that because if I don't, it's gonna weird me out and make me paranoid. Alrighty, and so just like we did before on the pointed side of that sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just wet my sponge with the Matte Fix Plus. Oh yeah. Get those bags, get those bags. So when we moved, we forgot about the train that was literally like walking distance from us. If you can hear it right now. Oh my God, I... <laughs> Like at nighttime, like the train will go off literally like in the wee hours of the morning, like the ungodly hours. It's ridiculous, like at 3 a.m. And um, like when I go to sleep, like when I sleep, I sleep hard. Like honest to God, I am I am dead to the world. When I my when my head hits that pillow, I am out. Nobody can wake me up. I don't hear anything. Like you know that it has to be loud if it can wake me up. <sighs> But when this train comes, I don't know what it is, like certain times I can hear that train it wakes me up and I literally feel like it is right outside of the bedroom window. And I'm like, well, I didn't think that one through too well. Yes. And now that I have that um, foundation and concealer like freshly laid down, I'm going to first um, grab my under eye powder and I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye area first because I will crease immediately like honestly it probably already no nope. already creasing so 
The powder I'm going to be using is the um, NYX HD Finishing Powder. looks like this right here. And it is in the shade Banana. I didn't spray the sponge again when I went in with the powder. You don't want to do that. As a matter of fact, I got a napkin and I kind of like tapped the sponge on the napkin so it's not as wet as it was when I initially went down with my foundation and concealer. Um, just because you don't want your, your sponge to be like too damp while you're dipping it into powder because you're going to quickly regret that. And I'm going in lightly. I'm not taking too, too much. Like, I don't know if you can see that. That's about as much as I will. If it looks like I picked up too much, I'll just dab off a little bit on the back of my hand. And then go in and back and forth motions. So now that I have the under eye area set, I can kind of move on and not have to worry about that for right now. I'll go back in and kind of touch up and add a little bit more, but for right now we're good. I'm going to be moving on to the all over face powder. I'm actually going to be using two different ones. Today I'm going to be using the Cover FX and the, uh, what is this, the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour. So these two guys right here. So even though I do not like want a whole lot of powder on my face just because my skin obviously, again, is so dry. Um, I don't want to completely matte out my whole face. It depends on the foundation that I'm using, but I can sometimes get away without having to use powder. I don't really need to set my face like all over with a, a face setting powder just because I go in with so many different powder products as it is. I could go with bronzer and blush and highlight and typically that's enough for me. Um, but recently I've really been enjoying this Cover FX um, powder because it's not going to be too, too matte and it's not going to be chalky at all. It's almost going to have like a really pretty sheen to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get again my damp beauty sponge. The same one that we've been using. It's just dry now. Again, do not go in with any additional sprays. And I'm just going to go ahead and, blah, 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 and get the flat side of that sponge and just dab it in there. Recently, this area, my lap lines, my chin have been creasing a lot more than normal. So I will go in and I really want to make sure that that is nice and set because I do not want to have to like have to touch up this during the day. It's just so annoying. And y'all, I am taking just a very, very minimal amount of this Cover FX powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the second face powder. So the reason why I go in with this one is because it is going to have a really beautiful sheen to it, like a really pretty shimmer. Not like highlight shimmer, but just like beautiful all over the face shimmer in a powder. And I love that. So I'm literally just going to put that powder like right into this region and then like in the center of my forehead and then in the chin. So like T-zone area, that's mainly where I'm gonna focus this powder at. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the fact that it has a color in it. Like if you can see, it's definitely not a translucent powder. It does have color and it's gonna be more of, it has like peachy undertones to it. So I'm not crazy about that. But um, since I am tan, I can get away with it and it doesn't look bad. But if you're someone who is very fair skin, it's not gonna work for you, unfortunately. But there are tons of other options that are out there that you could get um, for a all over, really, really pretty face powder. So I have about that much on my flat side of the sponge. And I'm just gonna focus that right into this like center apple of the cheek area. And again, just like the Caravan Effects, I'm going very, very small and very minimal with the amount that I am putting onto my beauty sponge. And again, always tapping off the extra. I do not want to go overboard. I'd rather start off with less and then build up. Okay, so now the base is laid down. We have all of our creams, all of our powders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to brows really quickly, but I'm going to do that off camera because, just to be honest, nobody gives a tiny rat's ass about that. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that the brows are on and done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So the palette that I'm going to be picking up today is the Morphe 25B palette. It's the, um, looks like this right here. And it's the, the, the copper and bronze, you know, palettes they release. This one is the bronze, the bronze palette. This one was very, very, very loved and very used when it first came out, um, which was in the beginning of last year. So this one was one that I was like a go-to. I grabbed every single day. And I don't have like anything like specific in mind. Um, yeah. I'm thinking of doing like a blown out bronzy smoky eye. Summery smoky eye. Bronze. E. Okay. This is actually the first time that I have like, like kind of winged it. Everything is always so planned already. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so the first color that I'm gonna go in with is this one right here. That like light peachy shade. Kind of reminds me of like a peach smoothie, just a little bit darker. I'm putting that all over on a fluff, fluff, fluff brush. And so this is gonna be like a blown out eye. I'm really not scared to take that color like way up in the, in the bravo. No, I've always been like, I don't know, like not intimidated to do like spontaneous chit chat, get ready, get ready with me's, get ready with me videos. Um, just because I've always like had a look, you know, that I'm doing. It's like, this is like the first time where I kind of just get to be like a fart in the wind and get to kind of go and do whatever with it. So we'll see how it goes. So now that that first shade is laid down on the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here, and I'm gonna take that on. I'm gonna take that on an M441. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not one to listen to country. It's just never really been my jam my mom has listened to it ever since i can remember she loves country and so does my sister but um i don't know like casey musgraves just released an album i don't know there's just something about her where she's just like like even though i don't really like country like she gets a pass for me like because she i think out of the group of country artists that i'm talking about like the newer like poppy ones like Maren Morris, I'm obsessed with Maren Morris. Um, Kelsey Ballerini is a newer one that, like, she's really, really cute. I actually saw her at the rodeo, and um, she did so good. Like, bitch can sing, which I'm going to be honest, I was not expecting. Like, me and my sister were like, please, God, please do not let her be bad. Like, please let her, like, just be good live. Because it's, like, such a letdown when you are so stoked on an artist and then you you know you love their album you listen to their songs and repeat and then you see them live and you're like oh she reminds me of like the young t swift when she was doing like her um fearless album where it was still like very country but pop country that's what this girl reminds me of so it's mary morris kelsey ballerini and casey musgraves and out of those three she's the most like country like you can definitely hear like her Loretta Lynn influences and Dolly Parton like she's old school like true country and you can tell in her music and I can appreciate that but like her newest album you can tell that she just put all of her like heart and soul into it like I said I don't really like country at all but there are certain artists where their songs doesn't matter what genre they are if a song's good and if a singer is good it just it is what it is so now we're gonna go just a little bit deeper and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this darker brown right here. Pack this on and I'm gonna focus this color like mainly in the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just really gonna start off light and I'm just gonna build it up. Um, but yeah, anyways, like I was saying, Casey Musgraves, her last album is just, like you can feel how she put her heart and soul into that new album. Her and her um, husband actually just did a song like music to a actual poem that Johnny Cash um, wrote for June Carter in like 1970 and her and her husband put music to that poem and they did like a little mini music video on Johnny and June's land and it is like the coolest thing ever like I love Johnny Cash and June Carter for like putting music and making a song out of an actual poem that he wrote and getting to do a music video on their land. It's like coolest thing ever. I'm going to pick up that first fluffy brush after I just lay down um, that darker brown, that last shade with that MAC brush. And when I get this fluffy brush, I'm just literally going to go over just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And what I do here in this part is I will go back in, add a little bit more, then I'll go in with a fluffy brush with no additional product go in and blend it out, then go back in with another brush and pack on a little bit more, then go back in with a fluffy brush and blend it all out. Like, it's just a whole process of literally just going back and forth. I don't want this to be, like, too, like, too smoky of a look. Like, that's not, like, what I'm going for. Okay, so for the lid shade, I want to do something shimmery. I feel like this is what's going to tie it all together. So I'm going to be grabbing this shimmery shade right here. 
you can see that it's like a really pretty like bronzy mocha with like flecks of gold and green in there it's really 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 beautiful i'm gonna just grab a flat brush and just give it a little spray of fix plus before i go in with that shimmer oh yeah there we go that's what's gonna do it all right i'm just gonna go in with that same brown that dark brown with that mac 217 and i'm just going to pat that into the outer corner I'm going to go back in once more with that flat brush and a little bit more of the uh, bronzy shimmery shade and go over just in the inner corner in the center of the lid. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just apply some false lashes and that's going to be a hot mess of a situation because I still do not have that lash glue that I was talking about. So we're just going to go ahead and, um, yeah, we're just going to skip through that part. I'll be back. Alrighty, so uh, lashes are on. Um, the first thing I'm going to pick up, it's going to be um, that same brown that we used in uh, the crease. So I'm going to take a little bit on a pencil brush and really get it up in there. Not scared to really take this color down, like pushing it down. But basically I'm just going to connect to where like that top of the eyeshadow is. And now that that is down at the bottom, that first color, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that shimmery um, bronze color that we have on the lid. I'm going to take, take a little bit onto that same pencil brush and I am going to pop it right over top. There is all kinds of stuff in my contact right now. Oh my god. Okay, so after that I'm going to get a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Now the eyes are completely done, I am gonna go ahead and move on to bronzing the face. I'm not gonna contour today, I'm just going to bronze because that's honestly pretty much all that I do like during the summertime, especially during the day. I will just take a um, Oliver brush. This, is, this one is from Real Techniques. It's really, really nice, like fluffy and big brush, but it's nice and tapered, so it still allows me to have some control. So I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna be picking up the Alexis Rin and ColourPop Topaz highlighter, I mean, um, yeah, bronzing and highlighter, highlighting duo, it's like that right there. This is one bronzer too that I really just wish that ColourPop would have, um, like, kept as not, like, a seasonal thing or, like, a uh, limited edition collaboration. I really wish, and I thought for a while that they were actually going to keep it. This is the only bronzer I've been using as well. I feel like I probably should have talked about this one too, but I didn't want to just because it is no longer on their website as of like a couple months ago. So they had it on for a very long time. When I saw that they were doing like the um, the last call sale or whatever and it was all of the products that were gonna be like gone forever. And this is one of them and I flipped out and got, got one more of these and like stocked up on some of my favorite liquid lipsticks that were going out of them um, that were just gonna be gone, which I hate. I hate it when brands do that because it's like you fall in love with something you think it's going to always be there, and then you wake up one morning and everything's taken from you. Mm, mm, mm. Give me some. Mm, give me some. Honestly, I think one of my favorite parts in makeup is, like, warming up my face. Like, warming up the face, bringing dimension and life back to it. The final steps, bronzer, blush, and highlight, like, I'm going to be so, like, honest, and I have not even tried to use this highlight. I think I've just been scared because it's been so, like, golden but I feel like maybe I should go ahead and just give that a shot today since we're doing the whole bronzy summer moment here on the face. I feel like something like super golden wouldn't be so bad for a highlight so I think I might actually give that a try here. Okay so I'm just going to slightly contour my nose. I'm really just doing this to kind of warm up that area. So I'm going to take just a tapered brush and I'm just going to drag that along. I'm always gonna watch you back. God, I can't stop singing that song. Alrighty, so for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my one of my favorite for blushes, and it is from Becca. It is the Wild Honey Mineral Blush. Looks like this right here. Such a beautiful, beautiful. Oh God, it never fails me. Like this is another product that, like, no matter what, this blush it will never fail you. I'm gonna be putting that on the apples of the cheek, right in here. These blushes are very intense, so you do have to be careful when you pick up product. Before my highlight, I'm a little conflicted. You know, I had said I wanted to use the ColourPop, like, there, that golden one, but one, I feel bad because its product is no longer 
even available. Um, so I'm not going to use that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette, this guy right here. And I'm going to be taking... I'm going, be, mm, I'm going to be taking these two center shades right here. I'm going to be mixing them. So I still still want to use like a goldy highlight because I haven't done that in forever. So I'm going to be taking a little bit more of this guy and just to top it off with the top Forever Young. So because I'm in one of those moods, I feel like I want to have like an even more like intense beaming highlight, even though Anastasia's highlighters are pretty damn intense. Um, I am going to just spritz my brush just once because I want to get it just a little bit damp so I can go in and just have a baby highlight. I'm using Glow Getter right now. I'm putting that on the highest points of my cheeks. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was more than I had anticipated, but I'm for it. I'm going with it. Actually, I'm not even going to go in with that top, like, pinky, champagne -y, forever young, oops, color. I am, I'm literally just going to stick with that bottom, like, really pretty golden glow getter shade. Because it's doing it for me right now. With whatever's left over, I'm going to um, just move it down here and put it, like, in the center of my cheeks. Put it just a little bit right here with whatever is left over. I'm not going to pick up any additional because this highlight is intense. Sweet! Almost done. Mm, 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 mm. Alrighty, so my camera died. I called that the second I started filming because it dies every single time. Um, but all I did was just, um, I added a little bit of black liner to my waterline. For lips, I was kind of like digging around and I didn't know what I want to do for lips honestly because I don't want to do a nude. I didn't want to do a red, and I didn't want to do a red-orange, even though I love doing the, like, super poppy, like, um, like the red-orange shades. Love those, especially for summer. And I saw, like, the new, um, Kylie Lip Kit. Say no more. That's what. And it's such a beautiful, like, hot, bright pop of pink. I'm kind of feeling the Anastasia Rio Liquid Lipstick. I just don't know how I feel about this shade, like, with my top, because you can't even see because I'm so zoomed in. Um, but, like, my... My, I don't know if it's going to like look like if it's going to clash or look just stupid, but excuse you. So I don't know. We're just going to try it and we're going to see how it goes. So let's do this. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I actually really, really like it. I don't know if I should just leave it at the liquid lip or if I should like do it proper and go over it with the real lip gloss. I don't know. The lip gloss. Yeah, we're going to do the lip gloss. So over it, I'm going to put the same exact shade, Rio, just in the gloss from Anastasia. Mmm. Oh my god. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. This color, this the lip color looks quite spot on. I'm going in between like a few different facial sprays, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the um, MAC prep the MAC fix, blah, 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 the MAC fix plus. Totally missed my whole face. Okay. Alrighty guys. Well, that is it. That completes the look. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me while I get ready and do my makeup. Um, hopefully this video was good. Hopefully the footage was good. I've never done one of these videos before, so hopefully I wasn't too scatterbrained and all over the place like I typically always am, but if you liked the video and if you want to see more videos like this, then leave a comment down below and let me know. Let me know what you want to see. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So thank you guys so much again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.